Hey, yo, what's going on, people? Dogie Sandwich here for another episode of Georgia on the Grind, a podcast about Georgia fighting game community events. Got a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, a lot of events happened this past weekend, and there's a lot of stuff coming up this week. So uh, let's just go ahead and jump on in, pun slightly intended. Past week, at, uh, the weeklies happened, or at least one of them did, 404 Esports pretty much a well-oiled machine at this point so i really didn't keep too many tabs on it or anything noticed uh night by night as i was checking my twitch page that i saw the stream was up with various events didn't think too much of it because i know greg holds it down up there so that happened as per usual a bit of a surprise though uh esports arena tried to get their first tekken saturday off the ground and that didn't happen now no, I wouldn't do this anyways, but I don't think they're really at fault for that. Seeing as one, they asked the Tekken community for a better day. And I'm pretty sure just like anybody, they all said Saturday would be the best day. But there are a couple of other events that happened on Saturday as well. I pointed out there was a lot of Tekken in that area. And that might have made it really hard for them to get something to happen. An event such as Collegiate Esports Commissioner's Cup that was manned by the Zone Breakers. Come to find out, it was exactly as they said, which was a little confusing with the information they put out there. Uh, they literally ran pickup tournaments throughout the weekend for Tekken 7 and for Ultimate. So even if I wanted to, I don't think I could possibly get you any results for that. Uh, I can confirm from Zone Breakers that the events did happen and apparently there were some really good ultimate pickup tournaments throughout the weekend um if you're interested with that you're gonna have to catch up with them and see what happened there last but not least plus two on block um they had 30 people for the other fight games because i like to call everything a fight game but from what i'm seeing on the results page I, I don't know if ultimate happened. Like, I don't know if they sectioned it off into another results page or something like that, but I, I don't, I can't confirm if it happened or not. I can tell you that between the other five games, Strive, Tekken 7, Street Fighter 5, and, oh, Melty, uh, Melty Blood Type Lumen. I was trying to remember the first four. Uh, those games, both either had a full bracket or they had a round robin they all happened but the big talk and this is probably the biggest shocker of the entire thing kof 15 uh data managed to wrangle in 17 players for kof 15 i'm pretty sure this is the biggest kof 15 tournament that's happened in the state so far but it gets a little crazier uh, I don't know the details from this. Uh, I honestly haven't checked into this too much. Kind of want to leave this as a little bit of a mystery. Uh, the winner, Frenicius, is is from Brazil. Now, I don't know if the story is they came from Brazil to plus two, or they just happened to be in the area or what. But looking at the information that's out there, from what I understand, uh... The person who won KOF 15 is from Brazil. That's the best I got. <laughs> so yeah, that was a pretty interesting sight to behold in the past weekend. Like probably the biggest highlight of everything, I would say. I don't know. I'm trying to sum it up too much in my head, but uh, that's in the past. Congratulations to everybody guess that gives me a good enough reason to move on to this week because even though some people have had some highs some of their lows still have more games in the future starting off this week uh i'll lean in with esa because they have again put up their schedule uh today on wednesday they're going to try to have strive for the wednesday night fight i assume by the time this podcast gets up on my youtube it'll be far too late uh they have said that Tekken 7 will be happening on Saturday. Ultimate will be happening on Sunday. Now, here is something that might catch a few people's eye. 
the general manager of ESA in Atlanta put out a tweet this morning asking if there was any interest for Melee at ESA. And since I just always check my Twitter in the morning and I happen to catch it, I was like, you know, I'll pass the information along. And, it, and I passed it to two people that I would assume would know who would like be able to organize this, not specifically community leaders, but like people I say are in the know. And I saw that it got passed to a community leader and now I am sitting in the middle of one of those infamous Twitter conversations where it's like, why am I here? I should just mute this. But I'm kind of curious to see where it goes. And yeah, that might be something happening in their near future. And the thing that stands out to me about that is I know some pretty prominent melee players that either do or did live in Woodstock. So I could easily see that turning into a decent thing. So that's something to be on the lookout for. Moving to the other side of Atlanta, the, the other northern side of Atlanta, that is 404. Uh, again, I, I I don't really need to dwell too much about 404 because the, the thing that's been really consistent with the podcast, the thing that's been consistent throughout all of the crazy times is 404. So you know what's going to happen. Uh, I need to sit down and actually look at the schedule because I, I might have to take back the title of a floating Friday game because I've kind of realized that some of the games that come up on the schedule that seem kind of outlandish and off to me are actually pretty consistent. Stuff like uh, again today, which sorry if somebody wanted to do this, it's going to be late. Tekken Tag 2 is going to be happening. I, I'm kind of assuming that Wednesday is the Tekken day or like a main Tekken day at 404 because they're also going to have Tekken 7 there. Uh, the other things that stood out to me is uh, Rivals of Aether again on Friday. And what I call the floating spot, I think is going to the second KOF tournament they're doing this week. The first one being today. And it's going to be too late. Uh, I'll give you the rest of the schedule as per use in the description. If you're interested to see what's up. You can take it from there. Moving on, on Friday, Friday the 13th. And it was kind of funny when I was making my notes, I didn't realize that uh, this Friday was going to be a Friday the 13th. It always catches me by surprise. Um, Zone Breakers, they are having their bi-weekly breakout. Breakout's the one that happens in Morrow. It happens at Team Net, uh, the Team Net Land Center, Land Cafe, Land Store what game center whatever you want to call it um happening this friday which is i said friday the 13th five games second seven and ultimate again you always got to have those for an event in georgia those are the two games that i guess i have to say generally get people uh strive is going to be the third game blaz blue central fiction is game number four i see normally with zone breakers with a breakout that'd be like okay so they have a stable fifth game the fifth game, and I'm still scratching my head on this. The fifth game is Skullgirls. Now, I'm surprised, but I do know that a handful of the Zone Breakers themselves play Skullgirls. So I'm interested to see if they'll actually get enough people, even amongst themselves, to get a round robin or even a bracket. But yeah, that's the five events they have lined up for this Friday. Tekken 7. Smash Ultimate, Guilty Gear Strive, Gloss Blue Central Fiction, and Skullgirl. Moving a little further south around my neck of the woods, up in Macon, the Reboot Crew is having their Retro Barcade Monthly this Saturday. It's gonna be their usual suspect four games as of late, Street Fighter V, Tekken 7, Guilty Gear Strive, and KOF 15 and they've been really leaning heavily into KOF 15 since they've uh, picked up the SNK esports sponsorship so that's going to be something to keep an eye out for happening over the weekend and last but not least technically should have threw this in with uh, 404 but this is an event that is happening at 404 but is kind of separated from 404 but not 
really? It is another round. Happy Accidents Media, aka Ham, aka KB, is having another iteration of one more round. Uh, I've actually seen it listed as the Ham Street Fighter Five series. Uh, there's also advertisement saying that it is one more. I don't know what it's called. All you really care about is they're doing Street Fighter Five again. KB, uh, with a lot of advertising help from Shadow Waste, because Shadow Waste is always screaming about Street Fighter Five. Um, yeah, it's coming back on Saturday on the 14th. So yeah, if you've been keeping up with everything. If you're trying to play some Street Fighter, you got two places to go this weekend. And I, I think I can cut it off right there. And my transitions to the end are not really good. That's uh, something that's been on my mind. We're going to work on that. But again, that's another one of the things I need to polish up. Things you care about are the information and the places to go to play the game told you about it in case you're somebody who likes to see the visuals the event page is already going to be up there you need the information that's going to be down in the descriptions and until next time actually before until next time i'd have to say thank you i i, I want to say i forgot that again got to figure out how to slide these things in in an orderly manner thank you for uh chilling for these 11 and a half minutes, almost 12. This was a little longer, but it's not too bad. Uh, if you, I, this is something I've been meaning to say, and I never think of this. If you have any feedback, comments, suggestions, uh, if the, again, I said this a few times, if there's tournaments that are happening in Georgia that uh, you want me to mention, uh, fighting game tournaments, and yes, I include Smash and fighting games. I can make a whole separate podcast about why Smash is fighting games. I don't care about that argument right now. But anything that's like, man, why didn't Doki talk about this? Throw it my way. Like, throw it my way with the feedback, with the comments. I don't care if the feedback's good or bad. Feedback is feedback. Things I can improve on, things I can make better. But thank you for all of that. And with that being said, now that I've had you here for 12 and a half minutes, sorry for it being a little long. But I'll let you go on your merry way, and until next time, be easy. Peace.